things can happen when our nation's capital was attacked. Here in the city of Flint, there are many elected officials have been threatened, threats upon their personal safety and their lives. At least two council people have received these credible threats, and because of that, I have installed metal detectors for council meetings. Uh, and then it's, it's uh, been somewhat of a, a pushback from other council people because of the level of dysfunction that we witnessed. But this has gone far too, uh, too far uh, when you have people uh, with threats upon their lives. We have made an arrest upon a person who assaulted uh, uh, one of the residents inside of city council chambers at their last meeting. We won't tolerate this level of behavior, but this level of behavior is engaged and it is monetized. And I'm saying it monetized because we've become made aware of one of the council people have signed an entertainment contract for uh, different things and they're monetizing and selling the dysfunction. Um, this is what we've been informed of and we've, we're, we're, this has gone too far. And so we need to make sure that the people business gets taken care of and so others have to speak up from our faith community, from our educational community, elected community, and other leaders, we need to make sure this dysfunction doesn't continue. It's not funny. It's not funny at all. Where words are weaponized, uh, racial epithets are uh, hurtled back and forth amongst council members, uh, and are monetizing selling t-shirts to this fact. We can't let this level of dysfunction continue to interrupt what we do every day, especially when it becomes a quality of life issue for residents and also a safety issue here at City Hall. You know, because of state law, we're mandated not to prohibit any carrying of any firearms. If people watch the news this past week, you've seen people carrying long uh, handled weapons and different things of that nature. We're working with our governmental entities to make sure that we can uh, minimize this and then probably get this as a gun-free zone. But we're working with that, but we need our allies to speak to, uh, speak against this construction. So, Mr. Mays, would you like to make a motion um, for the, uh, change the uh, discussion about the metal detector? Yeah, I want to contest it. I want to be about the metal detector, and I want to be before or after the council board. Well, the board will be pleasing and after the council board will be fine. So, okay, there's a motion on the floor to have a discussion item regarding. The metal detectors, either before public speaking or after council response. Yes. The people I said, I've had discussions with many people. Who did you have discussions with about this one? Uh, On this council or in the administration? That is essentially asking me to disclose certain information. Oh, oh my yeah. God. I'm asking you to disclose that after a subpoena and an investigative hearing system. Want to come up here to play patty cake. Yeah. And I don't play patty cake with you or the police department. So you talking real smart right now. I'm going to see what I can get done. Uh, who you, Madam Chair, for Ms. Burns, you had something? Um, yes, I did speak with Attorney Kim regarding the medical and the legality of it being placed. Can we enforce or not enforce it? So I did have a conversation with the issue of the legal opinion that I received when was called about the metal detectors. Did he issue a legal opinion to you? We had a verbal, I don't know, it would have been the same from over at the county in regards to can we open carry and then also carry concealed weapons and can we can we enforce it? So some folks got open carry permits through you, Madam Chair, to the Chief of Police. Can he come forward? Attorney Kim, we ain't got time for you to talk smart and avoid answers to questions. I don't propose a resolution to remove you from for cause. That's what's going to happen with you. Um, I'm going to, whether I win, lose, or draw, there's a resolution I'm going to request your office to do to remove you for cause. Because you've been issuing warrants politically. You're playing games politically with this legislative branch, and I'm not down with that. Do you matter to the chief of police? Chief Green, who did you have conversation with concerning this metal detector in the mayor's administration and or on the council? The mayor's administration. Okay, and who, Mayor Neely himself? Um, I had discussions with Mayor Neely and 
also be okay. And I'm also aware of a warrant that was issued. Um, you can correct me if I'm wrong about an incident in the city council chambers. You familiar with that? Uh, you mean a misdemeanor warrant? For yeah, a misdemeanor warrant. For who? who? For who? Yes, I don't know. Last name Tay. Yes, sir. Okay, and that warrant was issued by the city attorney's office, this city attorney. That's my understanding, yes. That's my understanding how it works, too. I'm concerned. to defuse. I know it's a gray area and it's, when it comes down 
to do people have a right to come in and run and being guns and weapons and all that kind of stuff. So I won't get into that. But I appreciate the effort that you guys are doing to um, make it more safer. Um, with this council and the administration, it's all political. And it's coming from one individual, our leader at the top. He's perpetuating all kind of mess, okay? Just shadiness, crookedness. Then he gonna make a comment saying that, basically insinuating that he put the metal detector out there because one of the council members had an entertainment contract. <laughs> Are you serious? Mr. Murphy, you got my attention. You stated you don't even want to have a discussion on this, what I'm calling a political medical tech deploy. You don't even want to discuss it. How can you learn if you don't discuss? How can the community learn? Mr. Murphy, I don't mind a metal detector myself, because I can't do it with a bunch of metal on me. It didn't go off. <laughs> <laughs> I had cell bones, cell and all kinds of stuff, and I don't think too many metal detectors that didn't use it go off. You should want to discuss it, why it didn't go off. <laughs> walking through with guns that ain't going on. And you don't want to vote to have a discussion? Mr. Murphy, you say on all kind of levels you don't appreciate threats. I don't feel threatened by you when you talked about if I acted or talked a certain way in the street. Do you know, Mr. Murphy, when I took this job, just like Martin Luther King, I'm on a local level. I don't mind getting shot in the head for what I stand for. You got folks back there laughing and talking now. Look at it. He told me the other day, I ain't the deputy chief of staff, I'm the chief of staff now. The same one who brought seven or eight police when we was in the dome meeting on opera funds, Ed Taylor. Up here, we doing an interview with the metal detector, with Channel 5, he in the hallway hollering, and nearly standing there condoning. What? A lot of the problems come from the administration and council meetings. Hmm. Whitaker walked off, Attorney Kim issued warrants selectively. It's called selective political prosecution. Trying to shade the legislative body. Mr. Murphy, you don't even know they're doing it to you. Well, you don't even want to discuss it because you don't even know they're doing it to you. Thank you very much. And just for the record, let me clear the record. What I said I was not going to do and I'm not going to do it even on this amended motion. I said I will be voting no again, so I want you to make sure that you hear what I said. I won't be voting yes, I'll be voting no on this motion to discuss this because we're discussing this now. We did two rounds of five minutes and then we just did a minute motion, so that's 15 minutes per council that we have to discuss this issue, dealing with the metal detectors or whatever you want to discuss. I'm not going to turn around and discuss this, then turn around and vote and discuss it at the end and spend a lot of time discussing something that you think is political. Request for information. What's your request? So you don't want to discuss it today, tomorrow, the next day, or you want to wait to let the other Lewis decide to show up? That's an improper request. Go ahead, Mr. Murphy. My point is that that's why I want to discuss this again because a situation like that right there. But as a citizen, I can't do nothing 
but sit here, stay at home, buy me some popcorn, and laugh at how y'all take care of business. But that's it's ludicrous, y'all. I just heard Miss Priestley, oh, we just lost, it just cost us a thousand dollars. Well, if we were straighten up and fly right and do what's right, we wouldn't lose no money. We would be making money. We stood before this council of North Flint Food Market and did you denied our request for money on the North End. But no harm against my brother, they took care of yours. So straighten up and fly right. Thank you. That is a joke. I just went outside and came back in. Ain't nobody standing there man, man in that thing. That's a joke. I went, I went outside on purpose. Went to my car. I grabbed cigarettes, not a gun, but some people go grab guns out of their cars. We, we know. <laughs> and um, Liddell Lewis is a carrier. If you notice, you never heard anything about threatening until Pfeiffer said his family was being harmed. Y'all need to get that Karen out of her seat and start doing something for the people. I'm on evil worthy. I'm at 485 signatures. Only need five people. She's got to go. And I'm not ashamed to stand up here and say it. Um, Murphy had the audacity to say he don't have a problem with the things out there. He tells us, that's fine and well. But when I said to him, you, you, I'm low class to him. And I said to him, he liked them little boys. The very next week, he brought his nieces, his sisters, and everybody else for me. But to tell you about me, if you want me, I'm like Pfeiffer. I live at 744. Anytime they want to come, I'm there. Have a blessed day. say I did nothing wrong. If you want to put an agenda item to discuss it and call Mr. Gilchrist up and drill him and call the Kellogg Foundation in themselves and talk about it, make that move. I'm not going to wrap up yet. I did that last time. I'm not going to let you get in the habit of telling me, Madam Chair, that I'm on <laughs> point, how to make my point. Mr. Right. Reyes, point of order. I am the chair of this committee. I have every right to tell you when um, you are on point or you're not on point. I'm now asking you very nicely, okay, to wrap up so we could give two other council people have asked to say something. You are right. You are the chair and you got the right to tell me when you think I ain't on point and you got the right to tell me when you Thank you want me to wrap up. I'm a member. I got the right to appeal you, argue, fight with you, and I'm telling you I'm being nice, and I'm doing nice just like you, and I'm cautioning you, be careful of bad habits when it comes to Councilman Mays because he ain't going to be nice all the time. And if I don't see you telling others to wrap up, and saying they on point. I'm going to think you treat me differently. I'm blocking what you said about me out of my mind. Because kind of information, Mr. Mays? I believe, and I don't know what other council people You believe think, I'm a race, the, the most race. You're treated so differently we going there. when you're acting differently. No, I've been treated differently by you. You said you believe I'm the most racist person you All ever right. met in you're my life. Topic. You said you're that, didn't you? And have you apologized? You're out of order, no, Mr. Mays. You out of order. This Point of order. Morning. I appeal the ruling of the chair. Out of order. I appeal the ruling of the chair. The ruling of the chair has been appealed. Second. Been started a by telling me to wrap up. I was maybe about to wrap up. She started by telling me I wasn't on point. 
And then now she say, I've received my first warning being out of order, when in fact, I think she was out of order interrupting me and I was about done. I didn't interrupt her. I think I may have something that could help is um, I propose an ordinance that we drug test council members. What they got to do with anything? What? This is, you know, my, I'm, well, I'm, well, I'm well, this well, well, You're okay. out of order. It's Winfrey Carter. Wow. Are you through? No, point of order. Wow. What does that have to do with anything? What does that is he has to say have to ever do with anything? Who is he? He can say what he want to say. Miss Winfrey He's Carter, you're here. out of order, please. No, I'm please not talk. out of order. You are out of order. Yeah. It is the ruling of the chair that you are out you of order. You should have ruled her out of order. That, that's, that was out of order. That was out of order. But you said nothing. Mr. President, I need your this assistance. Is, Ms. Winfrey Carter she is out of order. She lets it get out of hand. She was out of order. Like, but, and we gon' gang yes, up. Yes, she, she, she was way out of line. You let the official be out of order. Mr. Mays, please cease talking. Me, please cease talking. You're out of order. money up. I have recognized Mr. Winfrey. And then in this discussion, Ms. Worthy, it's becoming clear. You want me tested for drugs, I'll give you a test. Now guess what? What you looking for? You say cool? What you looking for? Crack, heroin, cocaine? You know, I also, weed is legal in the city of Flint on private property. So what you looking for? You think Mr. I'm a Mace, crackhead? You, no, I so can't because you didn't check her when she around. brought it up. You're what? doing it again. I'm arguing an appeal. She don't vote because she think I'm a drug addict. I got the right to try to tell her something on her vote, and we're going to see if the vote is what? Y'all are out of line down on that end. And I'm telling you, just like now, I will wrap up, but you're not going to constantly tell this senior council person to wrap up, to shut up, no matter how politely you say it, I'm picking up. Ms. Worthy, and then I'm going to say something, and then I'm going to call for the vote on this so we can move on and actually get some city business conducted. Ms. Worthy? Okay, so it's really funny because... When I was teaching, I had a middle school student. Ms. Winfrey Carter. Um, Councilwoman Worthy. I'm just gonna address that. I, I felt like that was way out of out of line to, to say that um, perhaps we need to drug test the council members. What did that have to do with anything? Okay? That we gotta stop this, okay? We got to stop. And we got to stop being disrespectful. We got to stop um, interrupting people when they're speaking, okay? I've said this over and over. We all have come to this table. We were all elected to do a job, okay? We should be focusing on, like Councilman Davis said, we should be focusing on these water shutoffs. We are spending way too much time with just... So now, we've had discussion. All those in favor, excuse me, all those who um, wish to approve Mr. May's appeal to the ruling of the chair signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Hands. Hand show. Okay, go. You can't tell him. Please, please, everyone's out of, I'll repeat it one more time. We done voted, Madam Chair. If you agree to the appeal to the ruling of a chair, raise your hand, signify aye. Okay? It's one, two, three, four, five. Opposed? Nay. You have, when you abstain, you have to give the reason for abstention. I, I'm trying to see both of your points, so the way that different people have explained how it went, I might be confused. And so I abstain because I don't think that I probably said it right. Okay, so Mr. Mays apparently was not out of order at that point, according to my colleagues. So now we're going to move on.